Dear brothers of planet Earth. I am Ashta Sharon. Our presence is increasingly awake in the skies of this planet. Many are asking themselves, what is happening? Are they going crazy? Many are terrified. Because they remember the movies, the invasions, the attacks, and they expect something similar at any moment. Many people's hearts are rejoicing. And they don't quite understand why. Why do I feel this way every time I start to be sure that my family is looking for me? Yes, that is the feeling they have. The awakening is happening. At this moment, a lot of attention is needed. Many who are awake will fall asleep. Yes. Many who are currently on the path of evolution will not be able to handle what is coming. They think they are strong, they think they are ready, but at the moment, they will not be able to handle it, they will want to stop everything and continue their lives normally. As if that were possible. Nothing will ever be the same again. Everything will become permanently different. Nothing will ever be the same again. So this is a sweet illusion. Many will wake up, or awaken, as you wish. And this will be a very strong feeling. Now they will need to have a very strong heart too so that they are led to the right path, so that they do not allow themselves to be led by false prophets, by so many people who today call themselves channels. It's amazing how this word has become so popular now. As if it were something you could go to a store and buy, and then you would have the gift. I would say more, you would have the mission. Being a channel is not a gift. It's a soul agreement. It's a soul mission. And the vast majority of people don't understand this. They think that suddenly they've become different, and because they heard a single word, they're ready to speak to crowds. In this current time and in the times to come, be very careful. There will be lots of mouths. There will be thousands of messages. But which ones will actually come from the source they claim to be? Many will even bring messages of hope, messages very similar to the ones we have been passing on. But subliminally, they will bring another energy. And those who connect with them will be in danger. Because their hearts will be flooded with negative energies. So, I would say to each of you who is already on a journey, do not seek what you do not want. Remain in the trust of those you already know. There are extremely capable and enlightened channels. And if you already know them today, continue to believe in them. Because it is through them that we will bring the great truths. Those who seem to be of the light, beware. They only seem to be. Because they are not aware of what they are doing. They are being manipulated by opposing energies to say things that you like to hear. But behind the messages there will always be something unbeneficial. So be very careful with your research and with the news. Many will bring a lot of news. Many will bring dates, processes, and I say more, many will even bring preparations. Many will indicate the locations of our appearances. But it will not be us who will appear. Because when we appear, everyone will know. Not just a small number. It will be a global announcement not specific. So, my brothers, the hour of truth is approaching. Minds are confused, many. Many doubts. Who to believe? Who to follow? What to learn? I say to each one of you who is already on this journey, be very careful. Stay true to your own path, to what your heart has chosen. Do not seek anything else outside. Because there are no more revelations, no more teachings to be made. Everything that had to be said has already been said. So, be careful with great revelations and wherever they come from. Be ready for the blows. Be ready for the lies. Be ready for the powerful energies. Yes, they are powerful. They control the planet. So you need a pure heart. You need to always have an enlightened heart. You need to always emanate love, joy. Do not let yourselves be carried away by fights, arguments, and friction, no matter how much they provoke you. This is their deal. To throw each one of you off balance. Since they can no longer make you believe, you need to get out of balance. You need to lower your vibrations so that they can act more intensely. So, stay whole. 
If someone offends you, be grateful. Because that is the opportunity for you not to retaliate, not to argue, and to show that you can maintain your balance. If someone says something to you that you don't like, be grateful. Because, at that moment, you will stop to think about how much you have learned about yourself. And that will no longer affect you. If someone attacks you, be grateful. Because you will be able to show them that you are not like them. That you simply will not react, because love reigns in your heart. So, my brothers, the time has come for you to show what you have effectively learned. For you to follow the path you have already chosen. Do not seek new paths. They may be false paths. And always be in balance. Seek balance at all times. You have already learned many mantras. So, when you feel that imbalance is coming, chant your words. Call upon a being of light. Surround yourself with light, of whatever color. But know how to protect yourself. The war has already begun. They are already acting. And so are we. The cleansing of the planet's surface has already begun. Do not be surprised. Do not be moved. Do not take sides. Do not trust either A or B. Trust only what you believe in. And what your hearts tell you. There is nothing left to hide. The truths will emerge. Deep and cruel. But they will be truths. And the law of truth is a very powerful law. Because the truth throws away false beliefs, false faces, false attitudes. Leaving only what is true. Which can be seen with the naked eye by each one of you. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. You have beings of light all around you, just a thought away. What is there to fear? Nothing. You just need to not take the first step towards the false, towards that which appears to be, but which, in reality, is not. Whoever remains in balance, whoever remains in the light, whoever remains without doubts, will not be attracted anywhere. Because they will be in balance in their own truths. Now, those who, hmm. I don't really believe. Those who believe more or less, those who do will be drawn to new experiences. Be ready for them. Be ready to live them. But never forget, we will still be there. Maybe not just a thought away. Because in this moment, where there is doubt, we move away. Because doubt is a powerful negative energy. But if you open your heart again and ask us for help, we will immediately protect you. We will not judge you. We will not abandon you. Be ready, my brothers. Everything is already happening. And what is everything? Be open-hearted and you will know.